humanoid robot designed by Oversonic Robotics for automation of industrial and healthcare applications. The Roby humanoid robot is about five and a half feet tall and weighs around 70 kilograms. The robot is equipped with artificial intelligence that allows it to be useful in industrial and social contexts by performing heavy or repetitive tasks in risky or unsanitary conditions. Roby was developed over the span of over two years and is one of the very first humanoid robots made in Italy with an aim towards industrial automation. Roby's mechanical structure mimics the human body thanks to 40 moving joints and a set of sensors and cameras that allow it to monitor surrounding spaces even if they are crowded. Equipped with arms and gripping joints such as robotic hand grippers for pick and place tasks, the robot can work for eight hours on its own battery power and is guided by three onboard computers. Roby is also able to communicate with humans by voice. A cloud-based ecosystem makes it possible to monitor the functions of the various components which helps to optimize maintenance to avoid sudden shutdowns or malfunctions. Roby's artificial intelligence system allows different functions to be activated depending on the people with whom it interacts. After a period of testing with some partner companies, Oversonic Robotics will subject Roby to the necessary certifications and begin selling this year. 50 sales are planned for 2022 with purchase cost of €120,000 and an annual management fee of €20,000. The device is planned to be mass-produced in different versions, even customized according to needs, and there are already pre-orders. In addition to heavier tasks in industry, the robot will lend itself to functions in business, healthcare, and hospitality. Roby can even autonomously remove its gripper device to replace it with another more suitable device depending on the task it is working on at the time. Roby's battery system also includes an induction charging function to enable wireless charging. This humanoid robot is capable of combining a strategic cloud-based cognitive platform and industrial-scale operation to balance itself between an Industry 5.0 approach while following the most innovative trends in social robotics. Robot Dog Learns to Walk in One Hour Researchers at the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems MPIs, in Stuttgart conducted a research study to find out how animals learn to walk and learn from stumbling. They built a four-legged, dog-sized robot that helped them figure out the details. After learning to walk in just one hour, the robot dog makes good use of its complex leg mechanics. A Bayesian optimization algorithm guides the learning by measuring foot sensor information to match it with target data from the modeled virtual spinal cord running as a program in the robot's computer. The robot learns to walk by continuously comparing scent and expected sensor information, running reflex loops, and adapting its motor control patterns. The learning algorithm adapts control parameters of a central pattern generator. The central pattern generator networks aid the generation of rhythmic tasks such as walking, blinking, or digestion. Furthermore, reflexes are involuntary motor control actions triggered by hard-coded neural pathways that connect sensors in the leg with the spinal cord. As long as the young animal walks over a perfectly flat surface, CPG can be sufficient to control the movement signals from the spinal cord. A small bump on the ground, however, changes the walk. Reflexes kick in and adjust the movement patterns to keep the animal from falling. These momentary changes in the movement signals are reversible, or elastic, and the movement patterns return to their original configuration after the disturbance. But if the animal does not stop stumbling over many cycles of movement despite active reflexes, then the movement patterns must be relearned. In the newborn animal, CPG are initially not yet adjusted well enough and the animal stumbles around, both on even or uneven terrain. But the animal rapidly learns how its CPG and reflexes control leg muscles and tendons. The same holds true for the Labrador-sized robot dog named Morty. Even more, the robot optimizes its movement patterns faster than an animal, requiring only one hour. Morty's CPG is simulated on a small and lightweight computer that controls the motion of the robot's legs. This virtual spinal cord is placed on the quadruped robot's back where the head would be. During the hour it takes for the robot to walk smoothly, sensor data from the robot's feet are continuously compared with the expected touchdown predicted by the robot's CPG. If the robot stumbles, the learning algorithm changes how far the legs swing back and forth, how fast the legs swing, and how long a leg is on the ground. 
The adjusted motion also affects how well the robot can utilize its compliant leg mechanics. During the learning process, the CPG sends adapted motor signals so that the robot henceforth stumbles less and optimizes its walking. In this framework, the virtual spinal cord has no explicit knowledge about the robot's leg design, its motors and springs. Knowing nothing about the physics of the machine, it lacks a robot model. Morty's computer draws only 5 watts of power in the process of walking. Industrial quadruped robots from prominent manufacturers, which have learned to run with the help of complex controllers, are much more power-hungry. Their controllers are coded with the knowledge of the robot's exact mass and body geometry, which use a model of the robot. They typically draw several tens, up to several hundred watts of power. Both robot types run dynamically and efficiently, but the computational energy consumption is far lower in the Stuttgart model. It also provides important insights into animal anatomy. Scientists have developed artificial intelligence software that can create proteins that may be useful as vaccines, cancer treatments, or even tools for pulling carbon pollution out of the air. The research from the journal Science was led by the University of Washington School of Medicine and Harvard University. The article is titled, Scaffolding Protein Functional Sites Using Deep Learning. For decades, scientists have used computers to try to engineer proteins. Some proteins, such as antibodies and synthetic binding proteins, have been adapted into medicines. Others, such as enzymes, aid in industrial manufacturing, but a single protein molecule often contains thousands of bonded atoms that are difficult to study and engineer even with specialized scientific software. The researchers trained multiple neural networks using information from the protein data bank. The neural networks that resulted have surprised even the scientists who created them. The team developed two approaches for designing proteins with new functions. The first, dubbed hallucination, is akin to DAL-E or other generative AI tools that produce new output based on simple prompts. The second, dubbed inpainting, is analogous to the autocomplete feature found in modern search bars and email clients. Both books and proteins can be understood as long sequences of letters. In the case of proteins, each letter corresponds to a chemical building block called an amino acid. Beginning with a random chain of amino acids, the software mutates the sequence over and over until a final sequence that encodes the desired function is generated. These final amino acid sequences encode proteins that can then be manufactured and studied in the laboratory. The team also showed that neural networks can fill in missing pieces of a protein structure in only a few seconds which could aid in developing new medicines when starting key features they want to see in a new protein. Laboratory testing revealed that many proteins generated through hallucination and inpainting functioned as intended. This included novel proteins that can bind metals as well as those that bind the anti-cancer receptor PD-1. The new neural networks can generate several different kinds of proteins in as little as one second. Some include potential vaccines for the deadly respiratory syncytial virus or RSV. All vaccines work by presenting a piece of a pathogen to the immune system. Scientists often know which piece would work best, but creating a vaccine that achieves a desired molecular shape can be challenging. Using the new neural networks, the team prompted a computer to create new proteins that included the necessary pathogen fragment as part of their final structure. The software was free to create any supporting structures around the key fragment, yielding several potential vaccines with diverse molecular shapes. When tested in the lab, the researchers found that known antibodies against RSV stuck to three of their hallucinated proteins. This confirms that the new proteins adopted their intended shapes and suggests they may be viable vaccine candidates that could prompt the body to generate its own highly specific antibodies. Additional testing, including in animals, is still needed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and enable the notification bell for the latest news in artificial intelligence, robotics, and brain-computer interface news, and thanks for watching.